Hello, I am Terry Wright, Director of Berwick Community TV. Welcome to News from Berwick Town Departments. Today, I am here with Chief Timothy Town of the Berwick Police Department. My goal is to learn more about the Police Department, the people who work here, and the types of training involved. At the end of our show, Chief Town will have time to tell us what he wants us to know about the police and the Police Department. Can you tell me a little bit about the staff that you have here, how many full-time, how many part-time, um, sure. and how many are coming on? Yep. Um, we have 12 full-time employees. Um, when I say uh, employees, that would be the uh, law enforcement side. We have a full-time um, civilian secretary, uh, Mrs. Dunn, Denise Dunn. Uh, we have a part-time animal control officer. Um, we also have two uh, reserve police officers. And we have three open reserve police officer positions um, at this time. Wow, three open. Are you having a hard time finding staff? We are. Um, in regards to the part-time employment, the reserve officer program, that's changed a considerable amount over the last 10 years. Um, it's a lot more uh, labor intensive for somebody to get involved in law enforcement on a part-time basis. So kind of wind, uh, dwindled down the uh, hiring pool for, for that. So finding part-time employees right now is very, very difficult. Uh, and I'm sure that's all over the state. It is statewide. Um, really, um, law enforcement in general nationally is in a little bit of a crisis when it comes to hiring. So. Okay. Um, the newest staff members, can you tell us who those people are? Sure. Um, the two newest, uh, we have uh, Brendan Reel. Brendan's a uh, local boy. He grew up here in Berwick. He went to Noble High School. Um, he worked for our department for a, a short period of time as a part-time person. Um, he actually is what you call a tuition student. He put himself through the police academy, which is 18 weeks long, um, through a program. It's a tuition program where he actually pays his way through um, the academy prior to being hired by an agency. So when he graduates, he's kind of like what you could consider like a free agent. He's um, up for grabs. Ah. Um, he was hired by Wells, Maine, and worked there for about a year. And then he came back to Berwick, and he's been working with us for a little over a year now, full-time capacity. That's fantastic. Yeah, we're very happy to have him. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, training. Yes. That is something that's ongoing, it I'm is. sure. Um, and I know everyone has to take it. Can you kind of give our viewers an idea of what that entails? Sure. Um, so the continuing training uh, by statute we have to complete 20 hours of training um, each year. There are a few topics that the state actually mandates that we cover during that period and then there are other um, electives that you can take um, based on your, your interest. Um, but it figures out to 20 hours a year mandatory through the state there are um, piles of additional trainings that we have to do through um, Maine Department of Labor, um, training on our policies, all the tools that we use, um, all have to be refreshed every year. So we're really constantly in this training mode where um, we're picking away at this list continually and when the calendar year closes, it starts all over again. So. Are the trainings done here, online? Yeah. Do they have to travel to go to them? So um, the training room that you're, we're actually in now, where we've been using um, as much as possible soliciting training from outside to come to Berwick. Um, and what that helps um, Berwick do is by letting them use our, our room, basically. Um, we end up getting one or two slots in that training for free. So um, we've been having a lot of um, what I'd call open trainings. Agencies um, from across the street can come and, and uh, train here with us. Um, so, you know, as far as training, I would say it never ever stops. And most of the training um, is done locally, when I say locally, in state. Uh, but we do travel occasionally for certain specialty courses, so. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah. Um, anything that you'd like our viewers to know? things that um, you've heard people ask or that you'd really like us to know? Sure. 
Um, well, you know, if you're interested in being a part-time law enforcement officer, you can certainly come in and, and see um, me. I can explain the process to you. Um, if you're really interested um, and you don't have a chance to come in and see me, if you go to the Maine Criminal Justice Academy website, um, all the information about how to become a police officer is, is on that website, um, including dates as to when you can take some of the trainings that you'd have to take. Um, so we are looking for part-time people. I am very fortunate right now to have a full staff as far as full-time employees, um, which is kind of unique. Again, across the state, it's pretty bleak as far as hiring. So Berwick being full staff is, is, uh, is good. Okay. So. All right. Anything else? Um, the other thing is uh, I think in time you'll see uh, I'm going to try and set up so that the people in Berwick can meet each officer that works here at the police department. We'll do a very um, brief segment. They can come in and tell you a little bit about themselves. And that way you'll uh, have a chance to um, really get to know your local police department. So. I like it. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.